name's Nico Alcozer. I pay for the 2012 <laughs> West team. I play all outfield. My favorite uh, memory is making that sick ass catch in the left field. Yep, I remember, so I remember that. Remember that against Texas? Yeah, was that against I Texas? That. Yeah, that was, that was probably my favorite one. It was a, it was a really sick made catch. It. Yeah, I'll never forget that one. My name is James Kelly. Uh, I Hi, played James. on the on the West team for uh, Lemon Grove, and um, I played outfield. And uh, my favorite uh, memory was just the traveling because uh, I never got to really travel like that. What's going, guys? Uh, my name is Alex Estrada. I played on the West team. I played. I taught and I played short. Um, favorite memory? Dang, I just had it on top of my head. Um, would probably be like the like team meetings we would have, just because I feel like we would come as one and kind of get on the same page. So it really helped us. I feel like you build that chemistry on the field. Hi, my name is Brad Moreno. I played on the 2012 uh, West team. I played pitcher and outfield. Uh, my favorite moment is in, uh, playing in the rain in Texas. Uh, my boy Brandon Wheat threw a great game and uh, we, we won together. In Texas? Against Texas. Against Texas. Against Texas. Yeah, we played at the University of Maine. I'm uh, Brandon Weed. Uh, I was a pitcher and third baseman. Uh, my favorite memory was that Texas game uh, through six and two thirds in the rain. Uh, Frank came in and closed it out. We got the dub. My name is Ricky Nunez, 2012 West team. I think uh, my favorite memory of the whole thing was just hanging out with my brothers, having a good time, best summer of my life, hotels, games. We didn't even practice. I mean, everything, the whole experience was just like amazing. What's up, everybody? Eric Preciado Nunez. Best memory at the 2012 was in uh, Maine when Coach Andre was pouring water on everybody. <laughs> And then I'm telling, got me yeah, scared. and uh, I just remember my bro sees waking up. He's not here right now, but he woke up next to me and he was like, Coach Andre got us. <laughs> that was fucking lit. And yeah, all the memories of my brothers. Hey, hey, forever. Yes, sir. Ray Pearson, 2012, Banger Man. You know, the best memory that I have was uh, we were in Yukaipa and we had two hotel rooms and fit about 15 people. About nine and five, <laughs> one room, and just making a mess in that room. Man. It was chaos. But. Hole in the wall. Hole in the wall. Best I remember that. Great memory. Best time of my life. Dominic Sawyer, I was a catcher, pitcher, shortstop, second base, third base, pretty much anywhere. Um, my favorite memory of the whole thing was getting that call, the very first call, saying, we doing this one last ride? I was like, let's go, boys. My name is Esteban Lieres, uh, middle infield. Uh, my favorite memory, probably being Hawaii, because it took everything we got to beat them. That's probably one of the best teams we played out there, so that's what made us advance to the next level, so it's all time. Like that hairdo. How you doing, I'm Andre Simpson, as the manager of the team. Did you like um, back in the day? Best moment was having all these guys under the tree over there and talking about this is going to be our last ride. Let's do it. Is everybody down? Everybody was down. And like I tell everybody, I got 13 sons. They all mean something to me. Coach Carlos Weed, 2012 Senior Little League World Series champs. Um, best moment is Florida game where we, uh, we had two outs, two strikes, and DeAndre hit it to win the first game. That was my best moment, and um, I'll give it to my president now, Art Martinez. Art Martinez, president. Uh, my favorite moment just to watch these kids continue to grow and where we ended up in the World Series. Good time. My name is Alicia Martinez. Um, I was the president's wife in 2012, taking all these kids to the um, World Series in Bangor, Maine. Um, my best memory was. A lot of these kids have never flown on a plane and to take them across the map was incredible. And, and this is gonna be a, a lifetime of, of memories for these kids. And to see them grown is um, awesome. And to celebrate 10 years is even more memorable. Thank you. Your favorite memory was getting them to the airport? Because yeah. 
the way we fly. Yeah. And we had to throw their bags in our, in our vehicle and go from there. Yes. Right? Yeah. Driving that these great. boys up in that uh, van. passenger van. Yeah. Uh, great yeah. memory. Yeah. We yeah. bought like 40 something yeah. tacos. Yeah. 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 You guys want to say anything? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Any part of the team? Oh, yeah. I found it. Yeah. This was the fun ride. Well, the first time we played in Hawaii, we lost. And everybody was like, oh, man, you, you guys lost. Oh, this, this. And we're like, we didn't care about that game, tell you the truth. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Because we could afford to lose that game. Yeah. yeah. The second game we played in we were ready. And we was already, everybody was available to pitch. We had everything set up. Oh, no. It was going through my mind. You know, a lot of crazy stuff. It was like, you just, yeah, you're nervous. But you can't show it in front of the boys. And I was just, I stayed focused, you know, and I stayed up all night, just going over different things, thinking. And they were, they weren't intimidating. Um, no, they weren't. We weren't scared of them. We just uh, had to play our game, but. You know, we knew they were playing small ball with us, and DeAndre was on. And when DeAndre's on, you know, you're, 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 you're not, the other team's not going to win. So once we got him, once we started running, running the score up and did the six inning, and, and we're like, man, we only got one point left. That's when it started hitting us, where we were like, almost, we're going to get there. One key note in that game, when he was on, he came to the dugout. I remember Frank and I and Carlos looked at him. Frank said it. He said, leave him alone. And we didn't say one word to DeAndre that whole game. We let DeAndre stay in his own pitching. And the chemistry has always been there. The majority of the kids, we coach since T-ball. We've been known. So the chemistry was always there. We could all look at each other. And we knew like, what we were thinking. That was a cool part about it. You know, and it's, it's to this day. And the funny thing is, too, is that when we um, – got to Maine, they looked at us and said, oh, you're not Hawaii? We're expecting Hawaii to be here. And Hawaii's won one of the last, like, three, four years in a row, and it was always Hawaii. Hawaii, so Hawaii we represented. Shook, we basically were the first, we shook the world up. We shook, we shook them up, and they were just, they were surprised that we beat the Hawaii. The crowd was quiet when we showed up. We surprised. The we first surprised night, them. they introduced us, and the crowd, we only had a few fans out there. That was from us. And we shook everybody else by beating Hawaii. And I remember getting a call the night before we played Hawaii for an interview. And they asked me how I feel about it today. This is a big game. Hawaii's have been champions, everything. And I just don't, like Carlos said, we'll play our game and I'm not worried about it. And we saw the results at the end. We knew, our, we knew what, what team we had. We knew what kind of a team we had. I mean, it was solid all the way through. Everybody on that, everybody on that team, was, we could have put them anywhere and they would play. So. One thing coaching I always did, you always had to learn three positions. Three positions, you're good to go. And that's with us. We're very versatile. We can do anything. So, you know, being great. It was a great summer. Yeah, we, we, Hell of a summer. Reliving it right now again, and it just brings back a lot of memories right now. It's, it's awesome. For great memories. Seeing these guys again, really great. So, 13 sons. Proud of all of them. You know, LG, you know. Hey, very special. It was a special, special moment, special. you know, because... You, you see your kid from T-ball all the way up, and every year you try, try, try. And one thing about us, about this league, is special about this league is we work and we always strategize. We're always planning, and it just to see that moment. To see my son, his son. I've been knowing his son since T-ball, and to see them do that is it's a special moment it's a great bond and it's something my, uh, like our picture and all that yeah, they never take it away from us my thing was um, the park team in 2009 you know we played them here we lost to them but we watched them in the world series at, at home on tv and i told brandon one time i said it can't be nice to go to the world series and but three years later we were there so it was a dream it came true and it's uh it was awesome that to see him there and and uh, excel and just, you know, it was awesome. it didn't, like I said, all these kids were just, right, it was such a happy, 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 happy scene. And we're just so proud of these guys. And, you know, we were just one game short, but I, you know, we're, we're champions. Oh, it's uh, good. United States champions, number two in the world. But hey, I still feel like we're number one in the world. Yeah.
especially out of all the teams in the United States, over 5,000 teams that year, we finished number one as a United States champion. Can't beat that. We'll be there. That's, a, that's time until we'll be there forever. Sign be there forever. Yeah. Never going nowhere. We got a new one coming in. Yeah, Frank, I'll see you later. And like I said, the good thing about our kids, they'll be able to show their kids and their grandkids, be able to show their kids, hey, this is what your relative did. Grandfather, your brother. That's a cool thing. And you, Cameron, how was your and time? Cameron, yeah, too, great. man. Straight time shout out to great. Cameron, man. <laughs> Cameron was, was part of this run, too, with all man. the boys. You're Thank you for the interview, my interview. man. I remember you back in shoot, rookies Shit. and caps. Yeah. You hung with us, too. You was part of this run. Yeah, you remember that. So here we are, 10 years later, since we did all this. Uh, and uh, I, I have my whole family here. I've been. These are the most important people I got. You know? If we didn't do all this, I don't know what we would be. I don't know what kind of friends we would be. I don't know what kind of family we would be. Doing all this, going through all of this, going through all the games, doing all this stuff. Like, these are memorable, memorable things that I can't forget and I will never forget. And I'm just grateful that I have all these people here in my life. And uh, I'm glad that we're celebrating this 10 years later and we're still close. We're still family. And, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a good thing. It's a... It's a great thing, actually. So I just want to say I'm blessed, and I want to give a shout out to all these people that are here. Love you guys. To begin with, number one, it was unbelievable. You know where we were going every day. Every day was a new day for us. It was a new challenge. You know, um, my my main deal was is just to get to the next level. You know, it was really um, tiring. You know, because of all the extra work that we had to do behind the scenes, you know, but the, my, my most proud moment is to be able to see the boys where they ended up and the experience that they got from it. I mean, after 10 years, I mean, I couldn't even say 10 years. I mean, I hang out with these guys almost every week. I mean, those are my best friends. Like, if, I've, if I'm doing something, I'm gonna let these guys know. If they're doing something, they're gonna let me know. I mean, we, all, we still hang out to this day, I mean, even before the Senior League World Series, like we always hung out and everything, and we just share all these good memories with each other. You know, it's not, it's not really a reunion, I guess, when it comes down to like meeting everybody. But I guess it's just like a, it's one of the, one of those times where everyone comes back, like all the families and everything. But when it comes down to like all my boys coming together, like, nah, we do this every week, man. It's, it's there's no, there's no difference, you know. To hereby proclaim August 25th, 2012 as Little League Senior Division All-Stars Day in the city of Lemon Grove.